good YouTube. It's your boy Spivey Got Sauce, and today I'm coming at y'all with another YouTube video. Now in this video, man, <laughs> we got is her boyfriend using her for money? Gold digger test. This is from UDY. This man's hilarious, by the way. Uh, after y'all see this reaction, I want y'all to go check his channel out because he got so many pranks. That's really all he does for real is gold digger pranks. Uh, like he's professional with it and everything. He sets up uh cameras. He Bro, this man's like a whole movie production company when it comes to gold dick. Like, this man cold. But, uh, the funniest thing about this dude is he acts like he does nothing wrong during the process. So, like, he'll say, like, uh, you dropped your phone. Like, the girl dropped her phone or whatever. Like, I've seen this one video. That he said, you dropped your phone. And then the guy takes the phone that's having beef with his girl because of the gold digging. Says, I got your phone, I'm about to throw it in the pool or whatever, I'm about to break your phone. And then that's what he does to try to keep the video going and keep it entertaining. Then he'll act like he didn't do it on purpose, which makes him so funny, bro. He He's hilarious, bro. But, yeah, we about to get into it right now, man. Without further ado, let's go. My headphones on. Today we're going to be helping Monique find out if her boyfriend is using her for her money. Her boyfriend's name is Austin, and to find out if he is or isn't using Monique, we're going to have my friend Madeline test his loyalty. Or in other words, Madeline is okay. going to be hitting on Austin and asking him on a date. Okay, so the girl's going to be testing the guy now, this, is this all time. Going down it's, it's in usually the other way around. Home, which is an upstairs apartment and a downstairs office. Madeline and Austin are currently downstairs, and Austin is unaware that an upstairs area even exists. Now, to make sure things stayed that way, we shut the door that leads upstairs, because it can only be opened from the inside. Thus, this ensured the obscurity of the upstairs area, which tonight is serving as this our This man got answer. this whole thing this prepared, like, be everything. You see Madeline all the mics he got, everything, bro? He takes this Two very, very seriously. <laughs> And the third live feed is coming from a camera that we set up and hid earlier that day. Cameras are not the only cameras rolling, though, because earlier that day, we actually set up and hid multiple cameras to cover every inch of the downstairs area. These cameras aren't giving us live feeds, but they are going to be recording. camera one, Madeline camera Austin, two, three, and four. This man now. Soon enough, Monique will got a whole surveillance camera in his home. Austin ends up, loyal, or Austin ends up trading her for another girl. Uh. All right, now full disclosure here. Today is December 28th, and we actually shot this video back in October, which is why it's Halloween themed. Well, since we weren't able to finish editing the video by Halloween, and it's no longer Halloween season, we weren't gonna drop the video at all. However, since the video that we shot afterwards didn't go so well. Okay, yo, I think we went too far. Did I pass the house? Yes, I passed the house. What? I passed the I, house. I, 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 <laughs> and since the following video that we shot at this dope mansion in Hollywood Hills went even worse. It is getting late. It's getting cold. It's getting misty. And no word from her. We decided to just edit out this Halloween video and drop it. I regret not editing it sooner because I personally think that it's really, really good. But thank you guys for your patience. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope. I bet this takes a very them. long time to edit, man. Okay, so this Madeline should take. start making. Oh no, this would, would probably take us over days. It seems like just yesterday we were just talking about this whole party thing, and now we're doing it. We're coming up through. <laughs> You're dressed up. I'm dressed up. I love spooky stuff, so. I like man dressed up as a prisoner. I, I peeped that okay, when I saw the so I thumbnail. Were lost and don't no, know what the hell is going on. Well, that's okay. Office. You should be. To fully like understand everything that is happening, let's go back two weeks prior to the first time that I ever met Monique. Are you Are you sure you want to do this? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So Monique came over on this day to tell us exactly why she feels that Austin could just be using her. I do kind of feel like I'm being used in a way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's So what do you do for this guy? How does he, how does he oh, use you? So far, like, I've provided him with... Look, you see how he smiles the whole entire time. Like, he, he enjoys the hell so, out of like, doing this. It is so, so hilarious. You've actually given him money, money. He got fired and was trying to file for unemployment. So that's why you give him money, because you feel bad for him. It's because I can do it for him. <laughs> like, I wouldn't just do it, but obviously I care. Okay. And that's why I feel the need to do this. Now, there were two things that Monique said that were <laughs> The first was that Austin had no car. He doesn't have a car. So oh, like, he don't got a car? That's tough. And the second thing was the job that Monique recently helped him get. So does he have a job? He does now. I helped him get a job. Uh -huh. He's a bartender. Oh. 
See, I didn't know it then. Oh, two weeks later, those two things <laughs> yeah, would I the just rubs his door. for Madeline to hit on Austin so that Monique could find out if he is or isn't using her. Hey. Yo, yo. So we are getting everything set up right now. How are you? Where are you? Yeah, are you... I'm about to meet up with him, so I'm like 30 minutes away. Okay. Um, just keep me updated, okay? Right. Okay. Okay, I'll see you soon. As you all know, this was the night that Madeline would be asking Austin on a date. In order for her to do so, on this night, we made Austin believe that Monique, Madeline, Loris, Evelyn, and Yokes were all thrown. Hey, Austin, I don't want party. you to fail, man. Tell me. I want you to succeed. Goddamn. But that's not all, because since Austin is a bartender, we also things. made him believe that he would be making the drinks for the party. Of course, we made Austin believe those things thanks to Monique. Now, the primary drink that we wanted Austin to make was jungle juice, and that was for a very jungle important juice. reason. So, as I'm sure many of you guys know, the general consensus for making jungle juice is pouring a bunch of liquor, a bunch of juice, and a bunch of chopped up fruit into a jug. Uh. Well, to chop up all the fruit we got that night was gonna take Austin a while, but that's the point. To supposedly help him move faster, we were gonna have Madeline help him chop the fruit. But in reality, she would only be doing so because this was when she would be asking him on a date. All right, guys, you guys know exactly what you guys are doing, correct? You guys know your lines, you guys got everything down. Madeline, you know what you're doing? Baby. The time has now come, guys, for me to hide myself up here and have from my friends. But, to but why they gotta use a baddie? They gotta use a baddie to, uh, soon. So with our yeah, cameras all set up, girl, and our like, that is just so go, tempting, bro. Now, I'm not saying it's right because since to cheat on your woman when you got a baddie trying to go slide up on you, but... That's kind of sending well, a guy sure up enough, sometimes. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying, the moment, But at the end of the day, you gotta be loyal. You gotta be loyal. If you say you love a woman, you gotta okay, be loyal. So I've actually turned you know the security saying? cameras downstairs. There's no excuse, mode, no matter what. But I'm just saying, they're just—they're really just, they're really just and sending so far, him up. Everything seems to be going as planned. Monique has just walked into our apartment. And sometimes it can be hard to resist. Exactly how we wanted her to. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that Monique walked in with Halloween decorations. Well, we actually asked her to do so for a very important reason. See, in order for Madeline to make her move, we needed her at that table with Austin and we needed everyone else to make up an excuse to leave. Well, after setting up those decorations, Yokes, Laris, Evelyn, and Monique will have the perfect excuse to do so. Now, to not draw any suspicion to our plan, we had Laris be the one to eventually stop Austin from decorating and walk him over to the bar table, and we had him also be the one to get Madeline to help Austin cut the fruit for the jungle juice. <laughs> And so with that, Laura successfully sets the stage for Madeline to make her move. All that needs to happen now is everyone else needs to finish setting up those decorations so that they can finally make up their excuse to leave. Yeah, we got a setting up the decorations and they're gathering around and I think this is it. I think they're about to make up their excuse. There's a party city and a Walmart nearby, so okay, I could just, down to the, yeah, I could get ask themselves to cut the fruit and make the jungle juice. Yeah, you guys gotta do drinks. That drink is yeah. 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 She needs help from an expert over there. So our excuse for everyone to leave was that everyone was gonna go grab some more decorations because supposedly Monique did not bring enough. Hey, do you guys think we need other stuff so we don't have to, so we only have to So we had to make it seem like they were getting a lot of decorations plus beer in order for it to I feel like if I was in that situation, I would have been so the game to go to like, the store. I don't in know. the end, yeah, they got a lot of stuff exactly everywhere. Like, you would have saw something that would have made you suspicious. Except Madeline and Austin. That's what I, that's what now, I Austin was under the impression that everyone went to the store, but in reality, this was when everyone made their way upstairs. My friend Ken was the one responsible for fetching them. Hello? Hey, are you guys outside? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna run and grab you guys downstairs right now. I'll see you guys in a second. So it's Josh, okay. you're gonna follow. Okay, we're coming right now. Copy. All right, see you in a second. So Ken had five minutes to retrieve Monique and everyone else because per instructions that we gave Madeline, she would start making her move in five minutes. So Madeline knows to give us at least five minutes for everyone to get up here and then she's gonna start. So in those five minutes, everyone quickly crammed into Monique's car and she moved hey, in from she the front of our apartment to our back parking lot. Is that man? Monique, is your, uh, is your heart beating? Cheats on her? It is. That's a loss. That's a big loss. You know From there, saying? everyone then took an elevator upstairs and Lights walked a short distance to our front door, successfully butt, reconvening with us. Now, during the five minutes oh, that it took Monique oh, to get to us, all. Madeline was simply making small talk with Austin. Have you ever cut yourself like really bad while cutting through or opening? 
But now that Monique has made it to us and our five minutes have expired, Madeline will begin hitting on Austin any moment now. Okay, so Madeline should start making her move anytime soon, so we just want to listen in. And so with that, ladies and gentlemen, you are officially all caught up and we are back to where this video started. Madeline is about to make her move, which means that Monique will soon find out if Austin is or isn't using her for her money because she will soon be finding out if Austin is or isn't loyal. <laughs> loyal. I'm sick of how they got the laughing emojis. <laughs> they got just the emojis on his face. Why? I may or may not want to drunk text Max and be like, ha ha, that made me jealous. Okay, so here we go. This is it. Madeline is making her move. No, that's kind of Maybe you should. I'm sure Mama would have liked that. Can I get a picture? I don't think she'd care. Yeah, Brunch Green's like a thing or something. I don't know. She never mentioned you like that. Why is that? Is it sounding like it? This is sounding like So how long do you have this Airbnb for? Um, for the night. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what are you doing there? Well, obviously we're cutting fruit for a party that we're all going to be at later, so yes. I'm going to be here. <laughs> what are you doing after? I don't know. Honestly, I'll probably be so shit face out of my mind. None of these crazy people. And we'll probably just eat her home and knock out. What if we kick her? Damn, so it appears that Madeline was slowly making her move, but Austin just- Why was this man so straightforward with it? It's no, it wasn't gradual, he just said, you trying to kick it, like, you got straight to the point, like, the video went from, uh, I don't know if he's gonna fail or not, to, he failed. <laughs> Real fast. Just caught her off guard by asking her to kick it. What does he mean by that? What did you mean by that? Like, what do you, like, kind of mean? I just, like, don't want to assume that you want me. That was fast to just like that. I think this thing is over. Like it hasn't even been five minutes. Madeline straight up was like, you're saying you want to kick it, but in reality, you're just trying to hook up, right? And Austin was like, pretty much. I mean, I'm, I'm only like, <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. Why would you even start all this in the first place if you don't like? I mean, I didn't say, hey, Austin, let's like hook up. Alright, like I told him. Alright, guys. Fuck, like it's pissing me off. I literally brought him to the party in my car, like. Monique is at a loss for work. I think the worst part is this. She helped him get a job. She helped him get back on his feet. So him doing that makes this whole situation even much worse. Like, it's honestly not even that funny if you think about it. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys aren't yet, you guys will be soon. Because this thing is far from over. I mean, I just feel bad. How would you feel bad? Well, because obviously Monique, like, you guys are... Thing, like. Me, me and Mo, we're not even dating or anything, you know, we're not, we're not even official, so. 
Yes, he really just said that. Austin really wants to kick it with Madeline that now he's saying that he and Monique aren't even dating. Wow. We're talking, but we're not official or anything, you know? But this is really f***ing interesting. Like, we kissed the first time we're literally talking. Yeah, yeah, kissing makes you a thing. Like, I'm not No, it doesn't. Okay, no, like, no way. That totally makes you a thing. I don't do that. No one does that. No yeah. way, dude. No talking way. Talking isn't talking. Like, there's not a commitment to that. Is there, like, a certain day before you guys? <laughs> there's not a commitment to that. <laughs> And so with that, Monique falls back defeated. In less than five minutes, Austin traded her with zero hesitation. Now the crazy part is, all the work that we zero did for Madeline hesitation. to ask Austin on a date was pretty much pointless because Madeline didn't even get to ask him on a date. Austin failed from his own doing. But keep paying attention because if you guys think that it can't get any worse, trust me, it can and it did. Trust me, it can and it did. Okay, so our job was pretty much done, right? Like, we knew that Austin wasn't loyal to Monique. Well, Madeline knew that too, which is why she backed off a while ago. But as opposed to changing the subject to give Monique a chance to compose herself and decide if she wants to confront Austin or not, Madeline instead decides to tell Austin that she knows that Monique helps him with money. I don't know if her plan was to, like, guilt trip him or something, but listen to Austin's response. Well, she told me one time that like, she was helping me out with money, like Uber, helping me buy clothes, like... <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> what the f are you talking about? I'm sorry. Like, can I take a talk? No, go for it. Go for it. That's all for you. I have money. I have a job. It's crazy that she would say that because that could go to work out. I give her money like all the time. I'm always giving her stuff. Like, well, I'm gonna lose my shit. What? Right for real? The nerve? No, it's not for real. I buy her shit all the time. I gave her money today, actually. Fun fact. Like I told you, like, I have a job. I have money. I take care of myself. Fun fact. <laughs> So Austin drops the bombshell that Monique doesn't even give him money. In fact, he's saying that he's the one who does stuff for her. He's for show trying to act like I'm using him. I swear, I'm telling you, seriously, she's twisting shit around. Like, that's not true, right? No. It's, 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 it's not no. true. I have, like, proof, physical proof on my phone. Okay, let me lower the volume on this thing. So, so is this enough? This what, what, is what, more what, than enough. What is your take on this? I want to be his ass. <laughs> Damn. He's sitting there saying that I use him. That is so f***ing twisted and backwards, like you don't even understand. I'm a good man, it's a good paying job. We'll you know, one time I got a $150 tip from a guy too. Which, you know, that doesn't happen that often. You think it'd be a chick, but that just goes to show. What, what is he wearing right now? His costume. Uh, him that costume. You bought him the costume? I have the you would buy him that costume! Yeah, dude, like, you buy him so that costume! I'm so like, I'm so pissed right now. <laughs> I am not gonna lie here, I was dying a little inside when she said that because I just find it so funny that Austin would say that Monique is using him when this guy came to the party in the costume that she bought him. <laughs> See, he was like, well, I don't want to come if I'm not gonna have a costume, like, I can't afford it. So do you have, like, a boyfriend or something? Why you, uh, you're not talking to anyone currently? My last relationship f***ed me up, and he's been pushing me to be with him. He tells me he loves me already. Now he's sitting here saying that I use him, which he, like, literally does not have a dime to give me. So Austin has utterly failed this test, allowing Monique to determine that he more than likely is just using her, which means that the time has come for Monique to decide if she wants to confront him. I gotta ask you confront now, Monique. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Um, I gotta ask you now, though. Um, mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Do you want to confront him? Do you oh, not want to him? Yeah. Do you want to tell him? No, absolutely. He wants to embarrass me. Let's All embarrass right. him. Let's go. He's going to go off. I could no, tell. seriously. <laughs> He's probably going to try to defend himself the best he can, but the proof is on my phone. Like, I could literally show you everything. This is bullshit. Okay. This is absolute um, bullshit. Okay, so Monique has chosen to confront Austin. However, keep in mind that Austin right now has a knife in his hand. Well, since we didn't know how he was going to react, we wanted Yokes to take the knife away from him before Monique confronts him. You, you could literally go down this door and stuff. Just be like, hey, yo, I found the back door. We'll literally be down seconds after you go in. Front door. <laughs> You're going into the closet, bro. <laughs> 
So with Yokes going down the correct door, all that was left to do now was wait for him to accomplish his mission. Hey, I think you guys cut up enough fruit by now. Okay, so, like, you guys cut up all this stuff right here? Yeah, we need a jug for the jungle juice. We got a jug coming. <coughs> That was too slick. Yoke successfully takes the knife away from Austin, which meant that the coast was clear for Monique to make her way downstairs to confront him. And so, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have to use the restroom, then now would be the time to go. If you guys are multitasking, now would be the time to <laughs> stop. If you guys haven't given this video just a big thumbs up, then now would be the time to do so. And most importantly, if you guys do not have your talkies, then now would be the time to grab them because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. So, um, I'm using you, right? Is that, that's what's going on right here. Me, I'm what using you. Fuck? Yeah, what the fuck is right? What the fuck is this bullshit? What is, what, what's happening, Mo? You tell me, what was this little conversation you were just having? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, no, it's cool. You can play dumb. It's okay. Fuck it. Like, just don't even try. Okay, so I will clarify, um, this whole party was just part of a test. We are actually not co-workers. We were just trying to see if you would stay loyal to Monique or not. And, and you f***ing failed. Okay. You had the opportunity <laughs> to prove yourself, but you just f***ing failed. And your word doesn't mean shit to me anymore. Especially since you want to say I'm using you for money. Are you? Really, bro. Really. <laughs> you said a sting operation on me? Call it whatever little fancy sh you want. The point is, your thirsty ass just tried to hook up with her. I saw all of it. And on top of that, you want to manipulate the situation and say that I use you for money when your broke ass can barely maintain a fucking job. Really? I have What make me really upset is this. All the cameras being right there. I would be more mad at the cameras if I was in this situation than I would be at her. But I mean, I would be kind of mad at myself just because I wasn't being loyal. But that's just my mindset. That's probably not it. But yeah. A job that I helped you get. We'll see how long that shit lasts. You're always getting fired for calling out all the time. So okay, look, this sense. this is dumb. Okay, you set a sting operation on me, Mo. Like, what the f What is your deal right now? You my deal you're wasting is that a lot of time. You're like, wasting wow. my f***ing time. Are you kidding me? And you're gonna sit here and say I use you for money? You may as well fucking leave. Like, there's the door. Bye bye, bum. Okay, okay. You're a liar. All right, all right. You wanna talk to me like that? How about this? Shit? I'm not fucking leaving until you give me my money. Boom, how about that? Are you serious? Yeah, well, are you serious right <laughs> Boom, now? how about <laughs> that? I'll take a that. I gave you money today. Really? You know I did. Really? The $5 for the gas. Are you f***ing serious? You want to know he gave me 5 the bucks? The $5 for the gas, that's funny. He used my car and gave it back to me on E. He used a half a tank. Are you serious? That money? Yeah, it's 5 f***ing bucks. Uh, well, yeah, I buy you food, clothes, Uber, all that shit. How does that even eat? Wait. Five bucks, five bucks. That'll get me home. I'm not gonna let you f***ing keep it. You want, you want, you want your five f***ing dollars? <laughs> I want that. You want my car? You want me? Are you dead ass? Yeah, five bucks. <laughs> you are a bum. Oh, really? You are wow. a bum. Are you kidding me? Oh, True power. Oh, you wanna know what, Monique? You're f***ing ungrateful. I've done a lot for you, and I've been there for you. Because why ungrateful? would you even set up a spin I'm ungrateful? Over? Somebody could have gave that man five dollars on the spot. A cameraman could have did that, but they wanted to be petty and let her go all the way to the car to get five dollars. <laughs> he knows exactly what he's doing. He he's a this he's a funny dude, bro. The simple fact that he's standing here for five bucks is beyond me. So Monique reluctantly agreed.
needs to give Austin back his five bucks. She makes her way to her car. That's what will make me mad if like I'm walking and I'm mad and you got a you got a whole mic just right behind you like <laughs> I'll be so mad. I'll be so mad at the cameraman, bro. I'm telling you. That'd be... I'm not gonna lie, those were a very awkward and long ten minutes. So Austin, does Monique really ask you for money? Dude, f off. Have a you said you bought him that costume. <laughs> and watch him take that okay, there is something you guys should know. Monique is planning something. Now, if it's not already obvious exactly what that is, you guys will see soon enough. But in hindsight, it appears that it was at this moment that the idea entered Monique's head. For reference, this was the moment after all the <laughs> money and called Monique ungrateful. Like I said, though, if it's not already obvious what Monique plans on doing, you guys will see soon enough. Just watch, no. Where's the clown? So, I don't have five, but I have twenty. Okay. But um, first of all, that oh. I bought you, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I bought you that. So why don't you take it all off? Since you want to be petty about your little, your little gas money. <laughs> you want to be petty about your five dollars? You're gonna strip. That I'm not giving you my shit. Your shit? Are you serious? I just said I bought it with my money. Are you stupid? Uh, how the? Okay, first of all. Hey, 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 hey! Look, 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 look! look. You <laughs> really all. looking like I made you? So I'm gonna need you to give my shit back. You want to be petty about five dollars? Give me my shit back. <laughs> you want to lie on me? You okay. ain't ready for no okay. commitment. Okay. Okay. Well, so strip. Get no. Up. What the? You want no. your money, don't you? No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll just give you your shit later. How does that sound? Uh, no, because I don't want to see your f***ing face later. We will never speak again. So okay, straight out. Okay, fine. Then I'll just ship them to you. With what money, broke boy? Are you serious? You're going to beg money on. to ship my s***? No. Strip now. I'm not f***ing going. Follow directions now. I am not now. going home Follow half. Follow directions now. I'm I don't not, give a f***. I'm not going home half f***ing naked. Off. That's not my f***ing problem, Austin. I don't give a f***. I don't give a f***. That's your issue, not mine. So, come on. You want your money, right? You want your money, right? So gets to strip it. She's speaking fast. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, fine. You know what? F*** it. F*** it. Here's your shit. Look. Here's your f***ing stupid shit. And I'm ungrateful. Here's your pants. Huh? You want them so f***ing bad? Here they are. No. Here's your f***ing shirt. Here's your other shirt, too, by the like way. Like I said, you want to be petty? I could be petty. You should be embarrassed right now. You should f***ing leave. Oh. You should leave. Bye-bye, bum. Okay. Get the dough. You know what? F*** you. This is ridiculous. Get the f*** out, clown. Damn, so Monique gave Austin a taste of his own medicine. He got petty and wanted his $5 back, so she got petty and wanted the costume that she bought him back. This, of course, would result in Austin having to undress himself and go home half naked. Well, at least he's out of my f***ing face because I was ready to rock his f***ing jaw. I know, bro, I see you. Okay, breathe, let's breathe, let's breathe, let's breathe. I think we all learned a valuable lesson here today, people. Don't fight the hand that feeds you because you only stand to make a $15 profit. <laughs> Keep digging, Austin. How many likes do you have right now? Let's see. 312,000 likes. I like it though. It probably is irrelevant, but I like it. You exceeded your goal by 200,000, so. Hey, that was a great video. It was funny. But look, I got another video for y'all today. Uh, it's gonna be top five baddest YouTubers, females, obviously. <laughs> I ain't doing no guys. Come on now, I ain't no man. But yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video, man. I'm out. Peace.